another unboxing video here at Pips and Chits. Today I will be unboxing the one the five player game Fantastic Factories by Joseph Chen and Justin Faulkner, published by Deep Water Games and Meta Factory Games. Artist is also Joseph Chen. And I'll just go ahead and turn this box around so you can go ahead and read the back of it here. It says, race against other players to build the most efficient set of factories in the fewest number of rounds. Carefully manage your blueprints, train your workers, and manufacture as many goods as possible. With over 30 unique blueprints, you'll discover new combinations of whimsical factories every time you play. Um, it's won the five player count, it says 45 to 60 minutes and uh, ages 14 and up. Now this is the Kickstarter edition, and with that I got a little promo pack here, and this contains five additional cards. But let's go ahead and open up uh, the main box here. Okay. So first thing we have looks like our manual. <clears throat> Get it out of there. 16 pages. We've got a very nice quick reference uh, uh, sheet on the very back. We have full color setup example. Uh, talk about our components here. The setup. Uh, Playing the game, we I, this game is played in two phases. I know that. It's a market phase and the work phase. Game end. I know it goes for, uh, it says, Once any game player has manufactured 12 or more goods or has built 10 or more buildings in their compound, the game end is triggered. Players finish the current round. Then one more round is played. Market phase plus the work phase. And as a reminder of the end condition is printed on the player aid card. And here's the rules for solo play. And what uh, really nice here, it looks like an appendix. It looks like all the different cards or all the different factories are laid out here. And then on the right hand side tells you how many cards there are. Like two of this dojo, two of this foundry, two of this manufactory with a little bit uh, more in-depth description on what each building does. Uh, Robot 3, we have Trash Compactor 2, a description of the contractors and what they do. Common mistakes, tips and strategies, and looks like some credits and special thanks. Okay, it looks like we have some punch boards here. These are all the different tokens. Uh, these represent energy. These represent, I believe, steel and goods. The only thing I can say about this is I wish um, the art, I mean, I like the artwork for the, uh, uh, the goods down here, but in my opinion, the energy and the steel looks a little you know, uh, chintzy, I, I guess, a little too sim simplistic for me. But double-sided, there's a little bit of a glossy sheen to it. Kind of looks like possibly some UV spotting on here. I don't know the camera can pick it up a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. We have some bags. A pretty nice plastic insert here. That's pretty nice. Uh, well... We have, I'm assuming, the first player token here. It's a wooden meeple of a factory. We have our cards. I'll get to those in a second. We have our player boards. These are nice. Uh, looks like they're recessed player boards. That is, uh, we got five player boards in here. And they have some spots that are recessed down. It's really nice thick cardboard, as you can see there. And uh, you go ahead and put your dice in there. It's got some nice reminders, some uh, lore here, both on the bottom and on the side. And here we go. A whole bag of dice. A lot of pretty colored dice in here. All six-sided. We have uh, green, 
blue, red, yellow, uh, kind of a frosted white color, purple. Pretty nice. I like the tray though. That that it's pretty pretty sturdy tray. So let's go ahead and uh, open up one of these packs of cards here, so you can see the artwork. Oh, yeah! Look at that. We have a little solo player uh, aid right there. Oops. Get that off to the side. Oops. And your different cards, you can see the different art styles on here. Kind of an interesting art style. I wouldn't say kind of modern, kind of cartoony at the same time. Uh, all our different factories that we have. Um, blue on the back end or back side. Uh, our blueprints here. Looks like, um, you know, our different contractors. Yep, contractors on the back side. Got a whole bevy of different contractors here and let's see uh, we have some player aids with a uh, market phase a work phase and game end and then a legend down here as well so color coded that's that's pretty nice i like things like that that kind of have a description there and hopefully there's five of them one two three four five yep five for all five players and then we have our one solo card and we'll go ahead and open up this pack here so you can get a look at these cards. Move the cellophane off to the side. We have aluminum factory. The cards are pretty nice. Got a little bit of a, you know, they're almost the, the texture of a playing card too. They've got a decent sheen to those. Assembly line, battery factory, beacon. Looks like some special scoring down here for a monument. Uh, Biolab, Black Market, Concrete Plant, Dojo, Fitness, Foundry, Fulfillment Center. I don't want to go through all of them, but uh, you get the idea. There's quite a bit of different factories in here that you can buy. Uh, another monument, an obelisk. This must be for kind of special scoring. And because this is a Kickstarter... As I mentioned earlier, we have got a, some promo cards here. So let's see what's in the promo cards. So we have a high roller. He is our specialty contractor for hire. High roller. And what else? So the rest of these are, looks like blueprints. And we have two cryolabs and two universities that would not be found in the uh, core or retail game. So there you go, everyone. I hope that uh, you enjoy this unboxing. And if you do, please leave a comment and uh, we'll see you again next time on Pips and Chits. Thank you.